Hi guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today, I have a ton of NPC bases I need to destroy. I'm not gonna attack them, I'm just gonna use this simple little destroy button. And I have a ton of player bases as well, so we're gonna try to get through attacks using warriors as fast as possible. So, let's just jump into it. So first of all, I wanna mention something. My base is coming along very, very nicely. You guys absolutely demolished the level 71 video I made a few days ago, but now it's getting to the boring stage where I just have pretty much, after my machine guns are done, which I only have a few left today, I think I'll be able to upgrade two at the end of the video, but after those are done, I have storages, residences, and flamethrowers. So I'll do my flamethrowers next, and then I need to max out that one boom cannon. I still haven't made any progress towards upgrading. And then I have to upgrade the boring stuff. And the reason I say boring, it just, it doesn't seem like it'll help me at all. Storages and residences. When you're a lower level, that sort of thing it makes a difference. Residences, not so much, but storages, you do have to upgrade. But when you're at this point, when you don't have any more upgrades to do, and you probably won't need the new storage levels for a while, because I i don't think we're gonna get a new headquarters for a little bit. Um, so we probably won't need the storages for a long time, it just seems kind of boring to upgrade them. But I know I have to, because I wanna max out my HQ24. So I'm gonna keep upgrading them, but it's just a very boring stage of upgrades, so stick with me. But I am really enjoying Warriors recently, and another thing that also kind of sucks is I have all this gold, but I have nothing I can spend the gold on. Literally the only thing we can spend using our gold is um, diving in the submarine. And I literally have no dive spots on my map. Also, this sucks. I dropped a barrage up here to destroy all the shock mines, and there are two left. I really thought I was going to be able to destroy all of them, guys. Okay, well, we drop a flare to the core. It kind of sucks. Hopefully that shock mine releases my troops before my smoke wears off, because that would really suck if that's not the case. We'll get critters, and we'll drop one shock down. I am really liking warriors, though, because warriors are just a super fast troop. You can demolish players. They don't work as well if you don't have... Um, instant training just because you'll lose troops but if you do have instant training warriors is definitely the troop to go to so next up we have this level 71 now i honestly haven't attacked too many level 71s there are obviously tons of level 71s before me i was oh shoot that was a mistake okay this really sucks i was very late to the party to getting level 71 a lot of players had it before me i just I didn't spend any diamonds when HQ24 came out, and I did at other headquarter levels, that's kind of why I hit new levels before other people, but I didn't do that for HQ24. This is a very close attack. We were just able to pull it off. I'm very fortunate that a base that didn't have any ice or any shield generators didn't just defeat me, because that would be really embarrassing. You know, you could probably defeat any player using warriors if you don't have um if if they don't have a shield generator and if you're a decent level like if you're an upper level player if you're a lower level player then if someone's 20 levels higher than you and they don't have a shield generator you still might not win it gets a little more shady they have to have like a base flaw for you to defeat someone of that caliber or you just need a lot of um I'm trying to avoid this one boom mine or you just need a lot of offensive statues which also really helps okay we've dropped some oh my gosh oh my gosh those flamethrowers actually kind of hurt my troops we'll get a uh, med kit down on the way up that gave my troops a little more hp we'll drop another one on the core but that was very close also hopefully i need to check my um my dms because i'm pretty sure soon is the boom beach frontline's first alpha test now we're not allowed to record videos in it if we're chosen for the alpha test but we can give our feedback i think i don't know i haven't looked into it at all they've kept giving us more details into the game and it's really really interesting the way it's kind of unfolding so 
my initial suspicions and a lot of people's initial suspicions of it being more like um, more like Brawl Stars than Boom Beach were correct. It is very similar to Brawl Stars, it looks like. So, what they've shown us and what is public information, if you don't know, Boom Beach Frontlines is um, built in the Boom Beach universe by a company that Supercell owns. And they're trying to, I mean, I don't know what they're trying to do, they're trying to make a good game. But it's really interesting, and I'm very excited for it. Jimmy is also very excited for it, and we're gonna make videos as soon as it gets out of alpha testing and into beta testing, because then it's open, and I think anyone can join and play the game. But it's super interesting, because it's like Brawl Stars, but it's Boom Beach characters. Now, like I said before, it's a little different. I haven't really played a lot of League of Legends, but I have played a little, like one or two matches, and it kind of looks like a League of Legends match. Now, Jimmy has played a ton of League of Legends, so he can probably correct me on that. But in my opinion, it looks like a cross between League of Legends and Brawl Stars, but with, but with Boom Beach characters. I have no clue. I'm probably way off on that assumption. Let's get an upgrade done. So looking at my base design, I have this one machine gun this one machine gun and i think that's all of my machine guns that's so hype i'm so close to finishing all my machine guns so now we just have to push for that machine gun let's keep attacking i need a lot more loot but with warriors it is possible because warriors are freaking overpowered guys okay we'll drop my troops on the left hand side this player is a full offense player this is what i like to see in players grabbing offensive statues like gumbo energy troop damage this player doesn't even have resource reward which makes me think he's probably a operation player or just doesn't need loot when upgrading so i activated my hero and then i shocked my hero kind of a waste of energy but i guess it was only six energy but there we go level 67 drops warriors are so freaking good in my opinion I think warriors should be nerfed. I love warriors guys more than anyone. Like I've been playing with warriors my entire Boom Beach career. And to paint that picture a little more, if you guys remember Nick at Night, okay? You guys remember Nick at Night, one of the first Boom Beach YouTubers made videos of Boom Beach in alpha testing. Boom Beach is how Nick at Night got big and famous. And he played a lot with warriors and I always watched his videos and I pushed for smoke so hard because I just wanted to play with warriors because he made them look so easy. And then I finally unlocked warriors and I was like, man, these things are amazing. I was able to defeat players that were way higher than me in levels. So that's kind of the background of my play style and how I kind of came to like warriors. Like, I was watching Boom Beach Warrior videos before I unlocked Smoke, so when I got Smoke, I could go full force and use Warriors and know how to use them. So, it's been a long journey. I've learned a lot. I'm still not the best Warrior player, but I would say I'm probably one of the more passionate Warrior players. Like, I've never met anyone in the Boom Beach community that likes Warriors more than me. I'm pretty sure there are no Boom Beach YouTubers that like Warriors more than me. A bold statement but i think it's true i'm not just talking about using them like i'm actually talking about like liking them i like them a lot but i still think they need to be nerfed they're just so good they're just so good but if you're gonna nerf warriors you better you better nerf tanks because tanks are just as bad tanks are really overpowered in my opinion so if you're going to nerf warriors, a tank nerf better be happening as well. And if you don't know what nerf is, just lower the stats, lower their damage, lower their health. And actually, warriors used to be way better than they are currently, and Boom Beach has already nerfed them. Like, warriors used to be insane. They used to be so good, and they nerfed them. Granted, they used to be insane before they brought out prototypes, so there wasn't any are there mines back here no so there wasn't any um 
wasn't any shield generators, but still, they used to be way better than they are currently, and then they nerfed them. That was, I'm pretty sure they nerfed them in the same update they nerfed tanks. So, Boom Beach used to be that, so in Boom Beach, Boom Cannons and Cannons used to deal times two damage to tanks, and I don't think Scorchers were out yet, but they used to deal times two damage to tanks. So if a cannon deals like a thousand damage per second to any other troop, for a tank it would be two thousand damage per second. So there was this update where they made a bunch of violent changes. They got rid of that completely and they gave cannons and boom cannons a increased damage. So cannons and boom cannons hurt all troops more, but tanks less after that update. So it was kind of helping the tanks, but then they nerfed the tanks as well. So they made a ton of balance changes early on in the game and they have, I know for Brawl Stars, I actually don't know for Boom Beach, but for Brawl Stars, they actually have so much data on the usage of troops and they call Brawl Stars perfectly balanced after they get the updates worked out. They know how to balance Brawl Stars super well. But so bad. <laughs> I just martyred a ton of my warriors. But they know how to balance Brawl Stars super, super well. But for Boom Beach, I don't know if it's that balanced. Like, I've been calling for balance changes for a very long time now, and they haven't brought out any. So maybe I'm just not knowing what the balance is like, but I don't know if it's perfectly balanced. I don't know how they're defining perfectly balanced either, because warriors are fast to play with. So a lot of people are going to play with them because they can clear their maps super speedily. <laughs> super fast is what I meant to say. Okay, we need one more attack. Let's find ourselves someone that has a ton of iron. Here we go. Let's attack this player. And no shield generators. We got super lucky today, guys. We didn't attack anyone who had a shield generator. So I'm going to try to avoid all this player's mines. So this player has a giant mine line here, and I think I can avoid it, so we're gonna try. And, oh shoot, <laughs> dang it, come on grappler. I did not see we had a grappler. I think we'll be fine though, because the way I'm doing this will avoid all of those mines. Not quite placed in the best location, but for any other troop it'd help more having them out like that, but for warriors it actually hurts you, because they're not in range of the warriors. So we lost my hero, that's okay. This player doesn't have a shield, we'll just demolish this base. Look at this. You can have all the flamethrowers and machine guns around the core if you want, but the only way you're gonna counter warriors is if you have a shield generator. That's the only way. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me upgrade my last machine gun to maxed out. I am so pumped, because after that, I have flamethrowers, I have this boom cannon, and then I have a maxed out defense, a maxed out offense, and then I just have support buildings, which is like your storages, your residences. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.